Hello, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my synchronic review. We'll discuss non-spoilers first, and then discuss some spoilers, maybe, but I will give you fair warning. Um, I don't want to spoil this movie in any way, shape, or form. I absolutely adored this film, and I, and I really say that with the utmost sincerity. I really, really adored this film. It was spectacular. Uh, I, I did a tweet, like I always do with these things, I give my first reactions. Uh, and I said that there's, it was a spectacular film, there's many words to describe it. Superb, existential, beautiful. It's just a staggering film. And it is such a shame uh, that it's not being spoken about or touted as much as I feel it genuinely deserves. Now this is from uh, Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead. The guys behind The Endless, Spring, and Resolution. Now, I've done a review of The Endless on this channel before, and I love that film. Uh, and I also really like their film Spring. Um, they have uh, a habit of, not a habit, but they really do appreciate and enjoy cosmic existential uh, explorations. Uh, the Endless is a Lovecraftian film. Uh, and as is the spring, actually, but the offset of that is a love story. Now, Synchronic stars Anthony Mackie and uh, Jamie Dornan. Mackie sells this film through and through, and it's an emotional roller coaster, actually. Uh, I couldn't help but come to the end of this film and really, really feel quite emotional. Uh, it was a, a staggering achievement. Now, Justin Benson does the writing, and Aaron. Moorhead and Justin Benson are co-directors. Aaron Moorhead does the cinematography, and it's really, really good. Um, it really is. Like you can see here, the color grade um, on this film is beautiful, but also these chaps have a habit of, uh, you know, that they have their own art style. So this is, of course, the color grade for. Synchronic, but then if you look at the color grade for the endless, there is a distinct color grade going on. Um, it's muted, but not uh, the, the the colors have a a vivid saturation to them, um, and and each movie that they have, they have a very nice hue over them. So on color grade, you can make certain colors pop here and there, but you can also lay over um, uh, an overriding hue uh, in terms of the color grade, and they do that with great success, um, especially on Synchronic. Now, what is Synchronic about? Well, and, and I feel actually that the, I feel the title may have put people off. I, I don't know why. It's just one of those things. I think Synchronic is, is a title that it doesn't really sell the film as much as it should, but then you know, the offshot of that is, well, what would you have called it? I don't know. Uh, it's just one of those things that popped into my head. So Synchronic is about two paramedics. So obviously that is um, Mackie and uh, Dornan. And again, you can see here, just the cinematography is beautiful. The editing is beautiful. They have obviously added an artificial film grain over it, but it's not, it's not in your face. It's just enough. So it's about Mackie and Dornan. They are paramedics, and they're going about their normal life. It's a snapshot into their world, but they start to come across almost unexplainable events, uh, and they are quite unexplainable. There are just things happening, but at each and every one of these weird sort of casualties that they come across, there is the synchronic. A tagline. There's a packet of what would have been a pill, a legal high, actually. And now this legal high accesses the pineal gland, and it was created as a DMT synthetic. Uh, I guess you could say. Anyway, it's what we learn in the film. Now, what this synthetic does uh, is actually allow you to view time as it is. This is how they explain it in the film. Now, in the film, they explain time as a record track. Every single track is there, but we are only viewing it based on the needle point. So that's how time is explained in this film. And what Synchronic allows you to do is break down the barriers between the tracks, and Synchronic is the needle. It puts you somewhere 
on the track of time. So it allows you to view time, you know, as is. It literally puts you there. Now, the offshot of this is that it actually, it, it works first and foremost primarily uh, on kids. So people uh, who aren't in their mature years because their pineal gland hasn't been calcified. Again, this is how they're explaining it in the film. And that actually allows you to materialize in that time zone. I know this sounds really sort of out there, but it is. And maybe my explanation isn't as good as it is in the film. So if you're put off by this, really don't be. Really, really don't be. And so because I keep finding this synchronic and these weird casualties with you know knives from 19th century or 18th, whatever, uh, it leads down a path of, well, you know, there's uh, this curiosity. Now, on one of these visits, Anthony Mackey uh, accidentally uh, hits a heroin needle. So obviously he goes to get checked up, doesn't want HIV, all these kind of things. Makes perfect sense. Uh, and in that, he has a routine checkup because there's no reason why not. So he wants a full blood work done, why not? Uh, turns out he has a inoperable brain tumor on his pineal gland. But during that time, uh, Dornan's daughter goes missing and Mackie begins to unravel this mystery of synchronic and it's not so much a mystery but he begins to track it down and he figures out exactly what's going on so then he runs tests on himself and believes that um, I think her name's Brianna which is Dornan's daughter in this film has materialised elsewhere and got stuck uh, and it, it's this really it's this really quite touching story about friendship, family, what matters to you, love ultimately as well, because Jamie Dornan and his wife in this film are experiencing issues, their relationships are on the brink because of the missing daughter. Mackie just sleeps around, but it's not what he wants. He is trying to find the one. And it's really quite touching actually. Um, and it culminates in this really grandiose ending really 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 emotional and i will say this god damn justin benson aaron moorhead why'd you do that to the dog shame real shame that that, that. I'm, I'm a dog lover here got my little my little bro just there and uh, yeah it was it was quite sad but again it's not done anything in this film is not done for gruesome sake it, it's to push the narrative along so everything has very real consequences and there's very real ramifications of everyone's actions. I really loved this film. I really did. It's a film that I'm going to want to watch again and again and again and again. Uh, just like The Endless, just like Spring, all of these films are fantastic. There is not one film that these guys have done that hasn't landed with me personally. Re like, they haven't. And it's not blowing smoke up their arse. If you've, if you've watched any of their films, so The Endless, Resolution, Spring, now Synchronic, I think you'll realise you know, where I'm coming from with this. Everything is very expertly crafted. And it really is. And I think, I don't want to get too sort of psychological profile here, but Justin Benson uh, did a tweet not too long ago but saying how you know he writing the endless and such and such forth, and basically he he's a man that has experienced great strife. His mother committed suicide, and um, and and I think that's what pushes these movies into such a great direction is because the writer of most of them is Justin Benson. Justin Benson writes the movies, and um, it's clearly a man that's experienced life. You know, he's experienced life, and he's pushing that experience, whether it be a counter, an alternate experience to what he's had to live through onto the page uh, and I think there's something really special in that I think he uh, they all you know Benson and Moorhead create just staggering films they are very very good this film is one to watch on a technical aspect because Moorhead does the cinematography behind this it's beautifully crafted it's a really good film uh, from a cinematographer technical aspect the lighting is superb it's all like I said it the color grade on it is just lovely and it really is lovely. Um, the nighttime scenes, everything's vivid. It works. Um, it's just a great achievement. 
It really, really is. Um, now, I do want to touch on some bits and pieces uh, to do with the ending. So I'll round out this review here and then we'll give you a bit of a spoiler warning and we'll touch on the ending. But I strongly recommend this film. Uh, this, look, out of all the films I've watched in 2020 and obviously now 2021, this would be one of the best, if not the best. I'd have to take a look at it, but standing out to me now, this is the best film of 2020. Um, without a shadow of a doubt, and 2021's early days yet, but yeah, there's something more here than meets the eye. Existential, emotional, cosmic. It's a beautiful film. Beautifully made. Really, really is. And Anthony Mackie does a great job, actually. Like, a lot of people have issues with Anthony Mackie in terms of his performances and things like that. But I think he did a stellar job in this. I think he was very, very... The casting on this is very, very well done. Now, whatever you think of his acting... Uh, in other films, in this, he fit the character they were trying to portray to a great degree. The effects in this film are really, really good. They're flitting between different times and things like that. Um, and when you flip between them, there's a, a great sort of disappearing effect, which I really, really enjoyed. I really, really liked it. Now, everything looked good. Good. I'm not going to say it looked 100% authentic. I don't know. But it all looked very believable in the context of the film. That's what I'll say. Uh, I love this film. Strong, strong recommendation. Watch it. Absolutely watch it. Now, that out of the way, I'm going to do the spoilers now. So here's your spoiler warning. If you need to leave, please do hit subscribe. And please do give the video a thumbs up on your way out. You've stayed this long. You must have enjoyed the review. Let's talk the ending. So... The ending is perfect. To me, it's perfect. It is everything I expected it to be as I was drawing up to it, but it still had the emotional weight of something which was... It landed perfectly. It really did. But I'm looking at the ending, and I'm looking at some of the behind-the-scenes images, and I can't help but think that there was actually an alternate ending there. Because this... Technically, I mean, it's not in the film. So I'm thinking to myself that there's a lot of alternate endings that could have been. And there is with time films, you know. This is a very clever film that messes with time in a really, really clever way. Yeah. And the only agenda that this film has, for those that are concerned, is just heart, morality, humanity. It's a very, very well-made film. Strong recommendation from me. Uh, I am trying to get Justin Benson on the channel to do an interview. Um, if you're watching this dude, please reach out and respond. would love to have you on the channel for an interview. Because it's a staggering achievement and I just want to pick your brains on it all. So anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have seen it, please do let me know your thoughts down below. What did you think of this film? Are you as enamoured with it as I am? Let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching there guys. Take care.